I wish I didn't do that. Especially with women like you. Hey boo, what is up? So in today's video, I am bringing you sweat proof makeup and we are playing in some new stuff. And I am so proud of what everything that I'm about to show you because I feel like I have something here for everybody. I know my girlies over 60, they want quick, fast, minimal, two seconds, barely there, okay, out the door. My girlies over 50, they want budge proof, long lasting, and my girlies over 40s, we really love products that work, baby. When we spend our coin, we want that, we want it, we want results, <laughs> okay? Period. This is more of just like a preference thing. You want your makeup waterproof. You want your makeup to have that staying power, that lasting power. I mean, this is great for weddings, if you're gonna be crying, if you're the bride. So yeah, I think I got something here for everybody. I'm so excited to show you the stuff I picked out. This makeup can be found on Amazon and I feel like everybody will like this because this is really like that soft, subtle, pretty, everyday, so beginner friendly shadow palette. A lot of their stuff is really high rated on Amazon. The name of this company is Girlactic and I think that's how you say it. Like I want to say it like girl act it, like girl act it then. You know what I mean? Like, you talk about it, be about it, girl, act it. Somebody, somebody, help me out. Let me know. Is it girl, act it or girl, act it? Because it seems like it might be girl, act it because of this cool, like, metallic packaging. These are the only things that, like, don't have the metallic packaging, but these liners are amazing. I am so excited to share all of this sweat proof makeup with you. And the best part is you can put it in your travel makeup bag, girl. Yes, this beautiful PU leather travel makeup bag with LED mirror inside. This is my makeup bag and I love it so much this bag is travel friendly it comes with an led light packaged really really sturdy and pretty this led light is shatterproof and it's a really good quality mirror it's not a funny mirror it's true to life you are definitely going to get your true self in this mirror it has three modes and you can dim it and brighten it just by holding the center button. I really love my makeup bag. I have mine sitting on the vanity. This mirror comes off. This stands out by itself. You can put this on a stand like I have mine. It's handheld so that when you are doing your makeup and you are in your hotel, you're out of town. And it's really, really sturdy too. Like when it's stuck on that velcro it is stuck and of course we have the detachable band the bag is fully customizable you can take out all of these really soft dividers and the capacity is huge you've got your makeup brush holder you can either have like separate or you can stick it to here that bag is good for any makeup lover is good if you are an organization girl it's good if you are a gifter you can gift that to makeup lovers that you know you can put anything in it from makeup to nail care to skincare to all of it it's travel friendly water repellent lightweight modern chic you can customize it to your liking it's so useful i already know all my makeup girlies for sure and all of my organizational girlies are gonna go bananas over this bag. Okay, I already know it's so nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get past the intro and get into doing the makeup. So the first thing that we have to do is prep the skin. Now, I know when people think budge proof makeup and sweat proof, they think piling it on, they think layers, they think thick, heavy, cakey, and it's actually the opposite, the whole way through what we're going to do is just keep the application very light so that way it's really gonna be like very malleable like if you see a spot 
you can pretty much tap it in and press it in. That's beginner friendly, that's easy, that's something that everybody can do. So in my skincare regimen, I have a new one. It has been so good. I have been using my Avo Cosmetics Botanical Toner along with the Clarifying Cleanser with this True Botanicals All Natural, okay? anti-aging blemish fighting magic dream and look at my skin i am so happy with it like my skin was just so irritated because i was constantly in fight mode i have oily skin i'm acne prone i'm prone to bumps and breakouts and blemishes and dark spots and fine lines like it's always a battle with my skin i decided i was giving up I said, no more fighting, okay? I'm going into feed, I'm going into nourish, I'm going into pamper, I'm going into care for, I'm going into treat my skin like a baby, baby mode. And using this stuff, oh my God. Will you look at me? Honey, <sighs> baby, listen, the clarifying cleanser with the botanical toner and the true botanicals Chabula moisturizer and serum absolutely amazing as far as the last step which is your facial oil i've just been alternating you know that i preach to do whatever your skin needs and wants and desires we shouldn't be locked into any routines okay sometimes i slip this essence in this has some actives in it i definitely use it like on my chin area to keep that area soft like we have to remove hair here it's no secret and when you do remove that hair you have to treat the skin so this is a product that's really great for doing keeping this area really nice and soft so i'm gonna go in with my avo cosmetics botanical toner this is rose water it's calming it's soothing super healing and with my true botanicals chabula serum and that's gonna be it for skincare okay so now that that really light hydrating layer of skincare is on we can prime the skin. I'm going to go in with my City Beauty Lid Lifting Treatment. This is going to give my eye a bit of a tug. I do have hooded eyes. Then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Power Grill. I normally use two primers, okay? I love this one by Bobbi Brown for around my smile lines. It's a thick, creamy, beautiful moisturizer and primer in one. This is absolutely phenomenal. It helps to juice up the skin and lock the makeup in. I love me some two products in one. That is something else that you should do. A little tip. We're going to get to the tip later. But FYI, let me throw it in now. Try to get products that are two in one, right? Because that helps you keep your layers light. If your foundation or BB cream or CC cream, whatever you use, has SPF in it too, girl get that like primer and moisturizer yes so keep that one in mind when it is like colder months or maybe you don't mind a bit more of a hydration i'm gonna take a two full pump maybe even three okay we have prepped the skin with our beautiful skincare we primed with our power gripping primer and now we are on to step three which is foundation in this situation you would choose either a matte foundation or a lightweight foundation now for the matte foundations i would recommend the makeup forever matte velvet foundation as you can see mine is truly loved you can use this product in so many ways. I use it to contour. I use it as a face powder. I use it as a foundation. It's definitely giving bang for buck, okay? This is one where you can press it in, you know, if you are sweating and you're patting and you're dabbing because we 
we're not wiping right if you see it separated like patting it in wouldn't be a problem i never had a problem with this separating and this is for people who want the full coverage matte foundation a matte foundation isn't your only option though you also have the option to go light and that is what we're doing today a lightweight sheer breathable beautiful foundation okay this is a tinted serum by l'oreal and this is what i reach for when i want to be really light yet covered looking flawless and beautiful it's my absolute favorite non-foundation product because again when we're doing sweat proof waterproof budge proof long lasting we're looking for not only products that have stain power but we should also be looking out for call outs like lightweight sheer breathable that's also really good for oily skin sweat etc now, I would say the only drawback of this is that it doesn't come in shade tones, right? Because it's a tinted serum. So it's not like all of these shade names like foundations are. This gives you a shade range. You may think this looks a little warm on me when I first apply it, but I feel like when I go in with my concealers and the powders and it just warms up to the skin. I feel like it all balances out. Okay, I'm gonna start by just putting some on my... Then we're just going to dab and stipple that into the skin. Get a little bit on the forehead. We're not concentrating toward the center of the face. Concentrating on the outer first. And then we're going to go to the center. And this, this pressure is just really light. Keeping the application pretty sheer for right now. Okay, so now I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz. I love this pencil. I use it all of the time. Not sure if this has the claims of being waterproof, but I've used this for years. And over the years, I've been in many different situations. Hot, cold, makeup on all day, unreasonable amounts of hours, probably slept in it or some over the years, girl. And it ain't never did me dirty, so... And yes, I definitely did shave the tips off of my eyebrows. Child, I was just so tired of them. Like they was just so patchy looking and uneven. Everybody who wanted to know how you do brows if you don't have none at all. Honey, I shaved mine off. Just the tips. I've done it before. I haven't done it in a long time though. And I kind of took it off all the way to the arch too. Because to me it was just that bad. Some light pressure. So I have always loved this brush because... I mean this pencil because like it just always looks so natural and so beautiful okay so for highlighter we are going to go with the mac pro long where this has a stain power of 24 hours and it's matte and with this girl a little definitely goes a long way a little bit on our palette and i'm just going to go in and start dotting it on again we're going for the sheer application So in order to let what's under my eyes sit for just a second, and then I'm going to blend out the under eyes last. Okay, and we're just going to stipple this in, and we're going to go back and forth between our damp beauty blender and the sponge. Brush is just helping giving me more control in this area. You know, the sponge. I like to have more room to work with so that it can really blur out the narrow space. And even if when we do the nose, all of this is a very wide space. This sponge is just really picking up extra excess unnecessary product. Let's add a little bit of our high blush. This really works beautiful for summer too because 
you have like a flushed look like yeah i'm hot i'm dewy I'm looking beautiful and glistening and flush so as you can see hon that is on okay this has that matte finish which means it's gonna lock down and lock in i think like everybody wants stay in power right let's make sure that this is pressed in and blurred out and we're just gonna go back and forth a little bit because with the high blush it does have to like run into the eye look just a little bit do you see the finish and it's not set or nothing Wait till you set it, boo. Wait till you set it. Okay, so I'm going to brighten up my nose just a little bit with this Becca concealer because we did put a lot of primer on the nose and we're keeping this very tight. This is just for like the contour purposes. Just patting and dabbing. And then we'll pick the rest up. Okay, so now we're going to put our finishing spray on just a little bit. Not as much as we usually would because... We gonna be sweating we gonna be dewy but it's gonna help to give us a little bit of a stickiness a little bit of a sheen a little bit of a shine really quick and set the makeup at the same time this really is a great step to take before powder because like i said it's going to be a little sticky so it's going to help that powder stick even better and melt in even better and adhere even better if you know you know you've been here before oh that round i'm gonna take the mac fix plus and do my thing i usually would drench my face in that but like i said we gonna be like dewy and sweating anyway so less is more okay so i have swatched a little bit of the makeup so i know to prep my eyelids with this mac paint pot i used concealer i liked concealer concealer worked too but i like the mac paint pot a little bit better and we talking about staying power right so that's what this gonna do okay so now we can go in with our powder now i normally would use a couple of different powders right and i would use powders that have a color to them not just translucent but in this case let's keep the powder translucent and let's do everything with it okay we're gonna bake with it we're going to set the makeup with it so that's what i'm about to do now i'm just going to set the under eye let me make sure that there's no creasing i know i did not I walk the back of my hand first because we are about to work this in okay okay so now i'm just gonna take a clean sponge and put it on as my bake too And let's bring a little bit of warmth to the face, bronze it up a little bit with um, our LYS bronzer. I chose this one because it's more reddish brown. And again, now this is lower. We're taking that lower than the high blush and we're keeping it toward the back. And we're just lightly brushing, light pressure, just a little bit. And because we didn't contour, I'm going to put a little bit on the temple. Maybe a little bit at the base of the chin. Just to balance it out, just so it's not all warm, all up at the top and none. Absolutely none at the bottom. I'm going to take my Makeup Forever matte foundation and contour my nose just using a little very light makeup it's a lot of step with a lot of makeup okay makeup is supposed to be built in a bunch of tiny steps especially this type of makeup part we've all been waiting for love this i thought that maybe we would do 
some like this i saw this of rihanna and i was like yes girl because it's a really simple eye look it's just a few washes of color then you know it's not cat eye it's not dull eye it's not concentrating on the outer v it's none of that stuff like that it's just literally a wash of color over the entire lid and a wash of color on the mobile lid and that's it and this palette will make it so easy for you to have like a look because they kind of like paired the colors like these all like go together yeah like this palette is just so user friendly it's so beginner friendly let me hurry up and dig in so that you can see we're gonna go in with this shade first and we're just gonna put that all over the lid so now I'm just swirling and buffing more of this color, intensifying the color. Isn't that adorable? And do you see how like soft and mute this is? You see how easy it's blending out? That's why I said OMG, I did so good for my girlies picking this out for y'all. Let's go into this color because I just want to. It just keeps saying something to me. Now let's take a little bit of brow bone highlight. We're going to use this one right here. Just stamp that color on. Feather it out a little bit. Feather out the edges. Keeping it nice and centered at the highest point of the brow. Let's go into this color here and deepen it just a little bit. Starting in the center, windshield wipe back and forth. I'm going to keep it pretty much right here. Keep it tight. Oops, I went in the wrong shade. Keeping this in the crease the eye socket windshield wiper back and forth that's all and you see how soft the colors are coming out okay so stain power lid color let's go in with this shadow stick now let me tell you something this ain't finna go nowhere okay i don't swatch this and this is pretty and this has some stain power so we're just going to cover the mobile lid with it. All right, so now let's go ahead and blend that out. I would take my finger, but let's just take a flat brush. Because I, I have nails on and I want a bit more of control. I kind of don't want this everywhere. I want this to stay on the mobile lid. And these shimmers pick up so good, it's almost like wet. Like, let's take a little bit of this, let's just put a little bit right here. Oh, I know for sure y'all gonna love this one just as much as I do, baby. Amazon Beauty, okay? Like, what? Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Galactic Liquid Eyeliner. This is a felt tip just like I love using and this tip is kind of long and flippy a little bit and you would think that you wouldn't get like a straight line or a good line or it wouldn't be easy to use and actually I find that it's the exact opposite oh yes oh yes okay let me put the top on because, oh, this is good. Let me zoom you in a little bit. That has to be the easiest time putting on a wing liner that you want to keep thin and short and small ever. Like, we all have been there where we're trying to put that wing on thin and it, it just gets out of control. Like this one, I'm literally like just coloring in and that tip. Ooh, this lovely tip. Oh, so good. Now let's find 
the eyes, the dark brown eyeliner. And keep it toward the back. All right, let's zoom you out, boo, so we can finish up the face. Now let's go in with some blush. We're going to use this Juvia's Place because it's so pigmented, girl. Let's tap the chin. Now let's go in with a little bit of cheek color. we be in route toward the nose. And we just put just a little because we are going to go in with a little bit of shimmer. Yes, this is a matte look and sweat proof and usually you don't want to like lean toward glistening because you're going to be glistening anyway but we're going to put a little okay don't get it twisted again those subtle steps of baby steps of layering just a little bit along the way that's how you get your most flawless finish your most long wearing finish we're going to go in with a new pair of fierce lashes today because we fierce love these these are so beautiful light wispy feathery dainty beginner friendly like i'm not even a beginner and i like using them they make my life less complicated because boo i need a thick band in my life okay don't nobody want to spend all day trying to put on a lash you need to be able to just pop it on And get that beautiful feminine effect of having a great lash when you have your eyes open looking at someone and talking you just look so sexy and bedroomized and feminine everything waterproof for the eyes waterproof liner waterproof mascara i love that it's like glamorous still though like oh waterproof makeup that is glamorous doesn't have to be boring you know galactic scent over this adorable gloss oh my god everybody loves this gloss on amazon okay baby when i tell you i cannot wait to put this in my purse like i had this one in there and because it's the tube and you go and you have different stuff on your lips it's going to change colors on you. This is the Lip Topper by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Love it. It's so pretty. It's a dream. But you know what? This one is more better for like your purse. You know what I mean? Because you could just wipe it off. It doesn't ruin the whole entire product. I love it so much. And it looks so good by itself. Sometimes I went in the bathroom with this on by itself. Like, Ew. and it's not, I don't think it's the product. I think that it's because I like topped my lip with this using so many different colors like it's not even the product anymore it's 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 a mesh of products okay so i'm excited about this one i'm gonna put just a little on so you can kind of see oh my god that's so pretty let's finish let's 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 put the lips on so this is matte and shade current this lip gloss smells so good okay and I know, I know, I can just tell. It it will look good with any shade. So we're gonna keep the darker shade like closer and then line the outer with brown, a lighter shade. I'm going, a, oop, going a little lower. Ooh, and it feels so good. Feel good, smell good, a dream. I'm sure everybody gonna like this. I love this. Oh, prepare to be sick of me because I'm about to be using this palette every video. Prepare to be sick of me. Grab this gloss. You're going out. Grab this now it's time for our final set we're going to use the morphe continuous spray this is a mattifying spray that makes your makeup lock and last longer i just i feel like all my texture just popped out now like all of it <laughs> oh i wish i didn't do that 
Definitely use a final setting spray. Probably not that one. Okay, boo, this is the finished look and I am in love. It's adorable. It's budge proof. Okay, it's girly. It's day party. I think that we did that. Yes! This was so fun. I loved doing this video. Thank you so much for asking, like, your questions because that is how I answer them okay you said hey give me sweat proof makeup I saw that more than once in the email in the comments so I said hey let me make a video about it because this is what the people want to know so if you're over 50 if you just want budge proof makeup if you're going to a wedding you're gonna be crying you're gonna be sweating at the gym you're going to a pool party like whatever you're doing that you need budge proof waterproof makeup look for those call outs when you're buying products matte finish 12 hours however long they say that it's gonna um last look for stain crease proof tinted oil free long wear waterproof of course take all the steps prep prime as far as techniques when you're fixing your makeup when you're out blot like if you feel like you see a crease somewhere you can just pat it out I love those little red sponges as well from the beauty supply house. They only cost a dollar. They work so good. You just use it as a dry sponge. You don't need to carry anything in your purse but that sponge and you blot and you press the makeup in with that sponge. You could do it with your um, hand when you use like really pliable skin friendly product and of course you know blotting papers we're not against them you can use blotting paper but if you use a paper towel or something like from the bathroom just pat pat you know this is how you remove sweat and oil pat and you press another tip is concentrate the product on the problem area like i didn't go really heavy on the forehead or anything like that i really concentrated on covering like the under eye bag the the acne scars on the cheek the dark spots the blemishes that's where i really put like the most product you don't have to have a bunch of product on your head it sweats like you don't have to have a bunch of product right there. Remember, layering is the key, taking baby steps toward the finished result. Light layers each step, building it up, that gives you the longevity, that gives you the natural look, that makes the makeup still very malleable and pliable. If you sweat, it's not gonna like be too big of a difference or run off and because you're making some huge indentation because you've like, piled all of this stuff on no it's very sheer it's very much so next to the skin so pressing it in and blotting it won't be a problem if you enjoyed today's video be sure to join my free vip beauty community where you will receive content just like this straight to your inbox it's all about beauty makeup skincare fashion and girl it is free love that for you like comment share and subscribe and i'll be sure to see you on the next one i've been losing friends and finding peace honestly that sounds like a fan